it, it's been a while since you've done a feature film. So how did Predator, the Predator prequel pray you land on your table? Um, it's something I started developing uh, very soon after I finished um, on Black Mirror, I guess, uh, which I did right after uh, after the movie, after 10 Cloverfield Lane. Um, and, you know, I was just, I was very inspired by Fury Road um, and, and really driven to make a movie that could be told primarily through action, but didn't want it to just be a visceral thrill ride, really wanted it to be emotional as well so i thought if i could inject if i could uh, inject the the engine of a sports movie um into this kind of genre film uh it would really give it a lot of heart um and then figured wouldn't it be great if the making of the movie reflected the story that was inside the movie itself so you know what if it could feature um native american and comanche in particular who are so often relegated to um, playing the sidekick or the villain, never the hero. Um, and, uh, and then I think I, I remembered Billy from the original Predator film or, and was already sort of smitten on making a period science fiction combination. Um, or maybe it was that underdog story needed the most formidable formidable opponent. So it wasn't just man against the elements. It was up, also up against the, the most impossible force. Um, so it was the combination of all those things that led to the genesis of this movie. Yeah, and we've had a number of people play the role of the, of the Predator over the years. So what was it, what was the prerequisite during the audition that eventually saw Dane D'Allegro get the role? Um, we really wanted this to feel much more ferocious and feral and animalistic than ever before. Wanted to find a, a, a set of movements that felt way more creature-like um, and alien. So it really was the combination of Dane's movements and very key visual, and visual effects enhancements. Um, and sometimes a visual effects creature that, that you know, Dane was mocap for um, to, uh, and frankly, some of the movements that you see in this movie were taken from um, the video game. There's, there's, a, there's a, a Predator Hunting Grounds is a game that we were all playing while we were developing the movie, while we were um, pre-visiting the movie. We would have Friday, Fridays were devoted for us all to get together and, and hunt, hunt each other down. And there's some Predator movements in that game that were never quite featured in the films that I thought were so cool. Um, and so we put those in the movie as well. Okay. Um, you've obviously gone back 300 years for this one. Um, if you had a say in it, in what period would the next Predator film be in? Um, I really can't answer that because um, I think people may take that answer as being too literal. Um, but I, I definitely think it's exciting to think about there's so many other, so people have come up after seeing this and, and saying, oh, it can be like Assassin's Creed now where you can just kind of um, stick the Predator in any time period and dig in. And, and, and it's true, there, there's a lot of fun to be had in a lot of other time periods for sure. Yeah, um, and obviously this, the movie was all set on location, wasn't it? Wasn't it? it wasn't in a studio lot at all. Um, did that actually come with any challenges filming out in the world like that at all? Uh, all of the challenges um, as uh, you know, I am very much at home playing video games or watching TV, uh, watching movies on my couch. Um, so just like location scouting, we had to strap snowshoes on um, and hike up a mountain. Um, and I mean, there were several locations where uh, it was very precarious just to get there, just to see if they could potentially be in the movie. And I really wrestled with like, I could decide that we don't need to go down there. Um, the movie would be lesser for it. I, we, you know, we need, if we're making the best movie possible, we need to go to some of these places and try and capture them on film. Um, but I really wrestled with like, I don't want to do that. Um, so uh, it was really, uh, I mean, shooting the bear sequence, we had to cross a river just to get to location. Um, and, and as Amber can attest that that water was ice cold. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't fun, um, but it was 
you know, it was, you know, the pain is pain is pain is temporary movies, movies are forever, as they say. Um, so I'm happy that we could capture what we did on screen. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for your time today. It's been a pleasure and the film was great. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you.